I knew this was going to happen. Uh, I've been doing these posts for about a year now, and it seems like the ones that are, are the best received are the ones where I do something a little bit different. Doesn't really matter what the content is, but uh, you know, the driving in the car, very well received, get good feedback on that. Um, you know, being poolside, uh, riding my bike, those things all uh, have been well received. So I knew this was going to happen that. Uh, you know, you give people what they want, and pretty soon you start escalating these things up, and you try doing more and more and be more creative. And uh, in, in today's post, uh, I'm going to add a little element of danger. I'm going to run with scissors. And uh, running with scissors, as we know, is, is a risky business. You know, cutting by itself is not risky, running by itself is not too risky, but running with scissors. Is definitely a risky business and I know you want to see if I can actually do it uh, but but risk is what we're talking about today and uh, in, in today's world you know there is no one more risk phobic than bankers um, you know they, they will not take any risk at all you know there, there a lot of deals are being blown because of um, their abhorrence of, of risk taking um, you know they're, they're the, the guidelines are tighter than we've ever seen before um, so they're, see, they're just not into the risk thing. And you know, as much as I hate to say it, they may be onto something. I just kind of think that um, you know, bankers are in the business of making money and not of losing money. And in theory, we as real estate agents um, you know, follow the same principles. We're here to make money and not lose money. But um, ours is a very risk type of business and the risk I'm talking about is you know working with buyers or sellers and you know our industry is kind of weird in that we can work really really hard you can do all the right things uh, but if you don't sell if the house doesn't close you don't get paid and that kind of leads to the, the risk being uh, you know very very much one-sided um, you know when you're working with a, a, a seller and the seller wants you to do all sorts of advertising, uh, hold open houses, do champagne brunches, and we'll do all these things to bring business in and hopefully sell the house. Now you're taking all the risk on that because if it doesn't work, you're out the money. And uh, let's see, it, it's just very much one-sided. Can I hold you up? <laughs> nope, not at all. Sorry. See, now that's, that's Minnesota nice right there woman was very concerned that she was interrupting this video post um, so well back to where I was um, when working with sellers what I propose you do is to try to balance the risk out a little bit um, you know share that risk and instead of having it just all one-sided uh, you know have them take on part of the risk as, as well so in the case where he wants you to or he or she you know they want you to do all these extraordinary uh, marketing activities and you know the house is overpriced uh, why not ask them to foot the bill? If they're so sure that this is going to work, that this is the right price for their house, um, then they should be willing to take some of that risk instead of putting it all onto you. Uh, and the, maybe the best way to avoid risk working with sellers is if, if the house is overpriced, just don't take it. You know, just don't lose the money. You know, especially in a market like this, if it's not going to sell, why would you possibly take it? And also, now then working with buyers, uh, one of the biggest complaints I hear from our agents is that they've worked with this buyer, they've shown them a million houses, um, you know, they've been over backwards, they spent a lot, a lot of time doing it, and then the buyer calls up one day and says, oh, you'll be so happy for me, uh, I just bought a house. And, you know, you've, you know you're, you're out the money, and again, all the risk is on your side. And so possibly working with buyers, one of the ways to minimize your risk is to, uh, first of all, get them under contract. Uh, I, I think that showing a house or going out more than once uh, for, for showings without having a contract is, is uh, really not in your best interest. Um, so have them sign the contract and in the contract, put in there, say that, uh, you know, the way this contract is written, that if you go out and buy a house without me, you're going to uh, pay me 2.7% or 2.5% or whatever it is. You know, make sure that they know that they're sharing that risk with you and that uh, it's, you know, the chances of you losing your, your buyers are going to be that much uh, more, more lessened. So, you know, the point being here, 
just share the risk uh, as, as much as you possibly can and uh, don't take it all on yourself but uh, I've talked too long here and uh, now it's time to see if I can in fact run with scissors have a good weekend